With the implementation of cross ice and half ice hockey, there's still a lot of questions about why going to small area games and shrinking the surface is valuable and why change from what we've always done. This video is just a quick reference as it, to show a visual of what the game looks like at higher levels and, and why training in small areas as a young player might be beneficial. So I'm just going to let the video run here and stop it a couple times throughout. So right here you can see if you took and drew the ringette line across and down the center of the ice, uh, which is less than an eighth of the ice, you have you have in there nine skaters pretty much. Nine skaters, the only guy outside of it is this offensive defenseman uh, plus a goalie. So if you think about that area and you were to split up your practice and you put groups of seven or eight and had seven or eight players working in, in an area that small. Some coaches don't believe that's beneficial or don't really like the look of it or the feel of it, but honestly it, it is a representative example of what's going to be happening as they go forward. Uh, as the puck moves to the other side of the ice, anybody that coaches at a, a high enough level will understand strong side and weak side play. So right now the puck is on on the side inside the green where all the players are which is the strong side if the puck squirted around to the other side all of those players would move directly across the ice and be on half of the ice again uh, strong side to weak side is just where the puck is so in regards to the puck moving back and forth throughout the zone yeah, you're always going to have players clustered in small areas trying to take away time and space so directly translatable is, is playing small area games being able to have your head up, stick check, make plays in traffic, puck protection tactics, using your teammates, all those kind of concepts are, are easily taught in small area games because it is a direct translatable to, to this level of hockey, to junior hockey, pro hockey. So this one I don't think even rotates. I'll just let the video play out. I think it switches. There's a few cutbacks here and then it plays out. As you can see here again, the, the puck is in motion, but you still have uh, the, the majority of the players down in one eighth of the ice. So hope that visual reference helps a little bit in regards to creating a theory around why small area games are, are taught and implemented.